end on time. The Maldives was plunged into chaos last week following a Supreme Court ruling which called on the government to free a number of opposition leaders and conduct retrials. Late last night, the Supreme Court overturned parts of their own ruling. The parts which were overturned include the call on the authorities to release the opposition leaders who are in custody. Nearly 24 hours prior to the ruling, President Abdullah Yamin declared a state of emergency and took into custody former President Mamun Abdul Gayoom, Chief Justice Abdullah Saeed and Supreme Court Justice Ali Hamid. Media reports have also emerged that several family members of opposition leaders and the justices have been arrested. The first, the original Supreme Court ruling of February 1st was issued by a unanimous bench by the five um, judges. Um, the, the ruling of last night, the amend, amended one, um, was issued by um, three judges. But we must uh, bear in mind the, um, the context of how it was issued. The military had surrounded the Supreme Court. The military and the police had arrested the Chief Justice and another Supreme Court judge and coerced this new ruling out of the other Supreme Court justices. Now, President Yamin earlier in a televised um, speech, he had said that he could not hold the judges accountable and that he had um, declared a state of emergency because he could not control the judges, because the judges would not listen to his orders. President Yamin practically described himself as the law of the land and practically um, described himself as the caretaker of the constitution, completely ignoring the checks and balances and, um, and separation of powers within that constitution. Ironically, six years ago, then-President Mohammed Nasheed was thrown out of power due to an alleged charge involving the arrest of a judge.